Hey everyone, today's video is going to be a collective haul. I am calling this my Merry Christmas to me haul because I literally just bought all of these things for myself. Some of them were Christmas presents for myself and other ones were like, oh well done Olivia, you finished writing your reports, let's spend $150 on makeup or other ridiculous reasons. I've got some stuff from Black Friday, I've got a little bit of PR. Most of this was purchased by myself, so I will just jump right into it. I'll probably start off with the sponsored, well not sponsored stuff, but the stuff that was sent to me for free, and then I'll get into what I bought myself just so that I get that part out of the way. So first off, I'm gonna show you guys some candles that I was sent. If you guys have been watching me for a while, I'm sure you can guess what brand of candles these are. Candle Crush candles are by far my favourite. I have some up here, there's one there. I give them to people all the time as gifts. I am just obsessed with Candle Crush. Now they did send me five different candles, but two of them were last year's Christmas scents. There was I Can't Believe It's Christmas Eve, which is like a pine scented candle. And pine scented candles are not my thing, but I think they are so, so, so lovely. And they're really good to give as gifts. So I've already given that one away because I had one from last year. And then there's another one called Minty Fresh Reindeer Breath, and oh my god, I love it. And mine is back there somewhere, but I absolutely adore it. But as I said, I already have one, so I gave that one away as a gift too. And as you can imagine, it's kind of like a minty scent, and then I think it's got a little bit of berry or something different in there, but it is so, so good. And I'm also really excited to tell you that I do have a little bit of a giveaway. Candle Crush were very kind as to offer me a code for one of you guys for some free candles. So if you'd like to win the code, if you'd like to go in the drawer to win the giveaway, which I believe gives you three free candles, which is amazing because their candles are seriously the best. They're better than the ones from Peter Alexander. They're better than Akoya. I love them so much. All you need to do to go into win is to comment down below with your favourite candle scent out of the three that I'm going to show you. And then in one week, I'm going to randomly generate a winner and then voila, whoever comes up wins some candles. Please note though, if you guys live outside of New Zealand or Australia, you cannot enter this giveaway because they only ship to New Zealand and Australia. So this is only open to New Zealand and Australian residents. Anyway, let's get into the candles. The first one is Jamaican Me Crazy. And it's one of their new ones. I can't get it open. Okay, there we go. This one is divine. I'm going to read the back to you. Infuse the reggae beats of banging coconuts with the powerful zing of lemons and limes. Mellow it all out with a spot of vanilla and a puff of sandalwood. And you've got yourself a rust, rust a fantastic chilled out jar of island paradise. It literally just smells like lemon and lime and coconut. So good. And the candles are single wicked if you're curious. And I think they're 50 hour. Yeah, 50 hour burn time. Next, this one is a very sweet scent. It is Mary Had a Little Lamington. As you can imagine, it smells like strawberry lamingtons. Again, I can't get the lid off. <coughs> oh, this one is divine. It just says... Mary whipped up a bit a bar, brilliant little candle full of fluffy pink lamington cuteness. You will love this. <laughs> so many puns in this. You will love this sweet afternoon treat with the warm aroma of oven fresh vanilla sponge cake. Sponge cake. Oozy raspberry sauce with a hint of chopped summer fruits and a sprinkling of cheeky coconut. Mm. It smells it literally. I can't believe I'm saying this. But this smells like Snow Fairy, shower gel by Lush, and a candle. I'm gonna go on the record. You guys need to go and buy this if you like Snow Fury, it smells exactly the same. I haven't burned any of these yet and it's been killing me, but I think I'm going to burn this one first. And the last one is also a really nice fruity scent. It is These Fruits Are Made For Walking. This one is, oh my god. Oh, this is like a fruit salad, tropical fruit. Shot like tropical juice, like kind of smelling scent. Oh, it's so nice. We have a perfect pulpy passion fruit in the lead, followed by a very appealing looking mandarin a hint of fuzzy peach, an apricot jam session, and let's not forget the little guy sme sorry, smelling cranberry delicious. I can mostly smell the passion fruit, but so good. If you guys like fruity candles, this one and the Jamaican Me Crazy are like so good. So yeah, I love Candle Crush candles. You guys know I've been mentioning them for years. So if you want to go into the drawer, don't forget to check the down bar for more info. I recently had two different companies contact me and want to send me some stuff. And I said yes to both of these companies because they're both very, very different. And they're both very, very like, kind of like pop culture like really popular, like on trend sort of like little bits and pieces. So the first one is called Ankit and to my knowledge Ankit kind of sells their products to shops like Forever 21, Urban Outfitters, which of course we don't have in New Zealand, but they do ship worldwide from the Ankit website, which I will have linked off down below. I picked up three things, the first of which was this little phone case. 
We'll get it out of the plastic. It's a full wraparound case, which makes me very, very happy because I hate getting cases and then they're not full wraparound, but this one is like totally protective. And it's in a vintage wood floral sort of pattern. And it's really nice. It has all of the cutouts for your phone, all of the little bits and pieces, and it comes in a bunch of different sizes. I can't remember if they do iPhone 4, but they do do a lot of different phone sizes, phone styles, phone cases for different phones. So yeah, they have a lot of other styles too, but this was just my favourite. I also picked up some fairy lights, because why not? These ones are daisy lights. I don't know if you can see, but they're kind of in the shape of like little daisy looking stars. And they're on like a golden sort of wire and I thought these were really really cute I'm thinking of changing up my filming space very very soon because this is getting old um, it's just hard when my room is like two meters by three meters like it's tiny um, but I am keeping these for when I have sorted out something new for my filming um, and I'm gonna have some pretty lights in the background so I picked these ones up and the last thing that I got if you guys know me you know I have a problem and I really love cats so I picked up a cat mug um, it is so cute. It's a little black cat with little ears and yeah, it's just really simple. I really like the shape of it. I don't know how well you guys can see with my dark background, but it's not like a traditional shaped mug. And I got another phone case. This one was from a brand called Casetify and I really, really love the case. I have it on my phone right now. So it's got a pink border and the way that this case works is that you can change the face plate. It reminds me of like the old Nokia phones where you could change the face plate to keep the like bumper. But this one was a little bit expensive, I'm not going to lie, but it's, it's really, really great quality. It covers all of the edges of your phone. It's got really nice buttons um, for all of the buttonholes. It's got holes for all your little bits and pieces. And then I have this background on at the moment. It's like a donut. I think it's called Donuts Forever or something. It's just like a donut back plate. And so you buy them separately. So I think this is like 80 New Zealand, sorry, $60 New Zealand. And I think these are 30 and then I also got this, which is so unbelievably cool. I haven't been wearing it on my phone because I don't want it to scratch or anything like that. But it's a personalised phone case. And you can see I've got three different photos. There are a bunch of different templates that you can use, but this is what I ended up choosing. This is really, really good quality. Everything is printed on it nicely. Nothing looks deformed. Um, I am really, really happy with it. I'm probably just going to keep this for really special occasions because I don't want to wear it on a daily basis because I don't want it to get ruined. That's what it looks like inside of the case very very cute and it is so super protective so i am in love with it before i go on to makeup i want to show you some clothes that i got from mrp they gave me a voucher and i spent some of my own money as well and i picked up a few things for school and for summer the first thing that i got was this one piece swimsuit which is navy and white and it's just basically a one piece swimsuit it's got underwire and everything which is really good when you're like me and you have a slightly larger bust. I think it was like $30 and it feels like really, really good quality. I got this maxi skirt, which I've worn a few times and I'm seriously obsessed with. It's just a black maxi skirt with like a, kind of like an Aztec, I don't know, like a statement pattern on it. And it's just straight down, very, very like basic, but it has a slit up the side. I know that you guys can't really see this, but I will be doing more outfit posts on Instagram and stuff. So I'm sure you'll see that on there, but I really, really love this. I also got these pants that I don't know how I feel about. I haven't tried them on, but they're called Palazzo Pants. And these are from the brand Oak Ridge. And they're basically like, kind of like those pants that I got from Thailand. But instead of them being bubbly at the bottom, they're sort of more streamlined and tight at the bottom. They're just really, really pretty. I loved the pattern. It's kind of like a black, blue and orange sort of like palm pattern, like palm tree pattern kind of. I don't know, I just really, really love it. And as I said, it's got tapered... Um, ankles so I haven't tried these on yet but I really love the way they looked on the model so hopefully they'll look good on me. I got a basic grey tee and a basic black tee. I also got that maxi skirt in just a plain black colour. And then the final thing that I got were a pair of like gladiator sandals. I have never owned gladiator sandals like this before. They're like really really strappy and they have three sort of like buckles to buckle them up. I got these in a size 5 and they are slightly too small because I have really wide feet but they're gonna work. I know they'll work. But yeah, I really, really like these. I did also get another pair of shoes, but however, I'm not overly happy on the quality. I'll show you why. These are them here. The shoes themselves are fine, but the laces on my other pair, they weren't like 
you know how they kind of burn them at the end so that they don't fray? They'd frayed all the way down, so I basically need to buy new laces, but I do really like the style of them, um, and I will be wearing these all summer long. I got these in a five as well, but um, yeah, I only have one that has a lace in it, so I need to find some laces, and then they'll be totally fine. I picked up this one single brush from EcoTools. I did some Christmas shopping on iHerb, and I picked up this brush because when I was getting my makeup done for the VNZMAs, my makeup artist used this on me. It's the EcoTools Airbrush Concealer Brush. And it's like pretty similar to the um, EXO Beauty ones that I like to use for my under eye concealer. But I thought I'd try out another brand. And this is so unbelievably soft and so fluffy. And I really can't wait to use it for concealer. It was like so super cheap. Like I think it was like, I don't even know, maybe like five dollars American but they were just so unbelievably cheap and I'm really glad that I picked it up because it's really fluffy. Then from Beauty Bay on two separate occasions I picked up some Too Faced Love Flush blushes. The first of which you guys would have already seen in my Christmas, my winter Christmas look. If you haven't seen it I'll have it linked off down below. It is in Your Love is King and the packaging on these is just to die for. I don't know if you guys can see the um there you go. Look at how pretty that is. I die. But this shade is just a berry pink. It looks way more scary from the packaging, but it also looks really scary in the swatch, but it actually applies really, really pretty. I absolutely love this and I'm really glad that I chose it. I also got the shade Love Hangover, which is like very, very pink looking in the packaging. I think it's a little bit darker when you swatch it. I haven't even swatched this yet. This is so my kind of color. I'm really happy that I got it. Oh, it's like me in a blush. Oh my god, I die. So pretty. You guys know why I bought these clearly, because of the um, stunning packaging. But after wearing them, or wearing the darker one, they are such nice blushes and I'm really happy that I got them. But yeah, I got Love Hangover as well. Also from Beauty Bay, I got the Stila Eternally Yours Liquid Lipstick Set. And it's basically six of their, what are they called? Stay All Day Liquid Lipsticks. So you get... Caramello Patina, which is really, really famous, and I, that's pretty much the reason why I bought the kit, I'm not going to lie. Then you've got Aria, which is another pretty shade, Como, Chianti, and Fiery, which is the one that I use in my summer Christmas tutorial, which I will leave linked off down below if you didn't see that one. But I really like the formula on these, and the colours are so pretty, so I had to pick it up. And besides, it was limited edition, so... Duh. I also made an order from Mega Cosmetica, and I bought two things from Hourglass, and... Yeah, it was very expensive. This was my congratulations for finishing reports present. I got the Ambient Lighting Edit Palette, which I'm not gonna lie, I've been using this like non-stop, so it was definitely a purchase well deserved and I don't regret it at all. This is so gorgeous. I particularly like these two colours here and then the blushes. I have been wearing these at least one of the products every single day. But if you think about it, I think this is like $120 to $150, so... You guys can decide whether you think it's worth it. I think it's worth it, but if you're not a makeup junkie, maybe not worth it. I also picked up the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. I just got the mini size because to my knowledge, buying the mini size is a better deal than buying the big size. Like you can buy two of these for the price of less than one or whatever. I know that it's cheaper. It's like when you buy the MAC Strobe Cream, always buy the mini size because it's such a better deal than the big one. I've just got two more shops to go. I kind of went really crazy, I'm sorry. I got some stuff from Anastasia Beverly Hills on the Cyber Monday sale, I think it was, because they had like buy an illuminator, get a free brush, so I was like, that's it's a no brainer. So the um, illuminator that I chose was Starlight because I have a lot of kind of like those sort of golden y highlights, but I don't really have any really, really light ones, which is surprising because I am really, really light. The packaging is super sleek, but that's what it looks like there. Today's the only day that I haven't been wearing it in ages. I absolutely love it. It's a white highlight with a gold throwback. I think it's quite similar to NARS Albatross to my knowledge, but it is just so stunning. Um, very, very different to anything that I own, surprisingly enough, considering I have like a thousand highlights, but um, I've been obsessed with this since I got it. And the brush that comes with it is the A23 Pro Brush Face Detail Brush. And I reason why I love this this is what it looks like. It's just a natural fiber brush and it's just so sleek and so pretty. The reason why I love this is because it is natural fibers and I feel like natural fiber brushes hold less product in my opinion. So it just gives me more of like um, a natural, natural highlight look. I think the um, highlight was like two or three dollars off and then this entire brush was free. Like 
I think it's normally like 20 something dollars so I had to buy it obviously. And of course how could I not try one of their liquid lipsticks? They're called, oh they're just called liquid lipsticks, never mind. Um, and I got the shade Pure Hollywood. In hindsight I really wish I had have gotten Catnip because it looked really pretty but um, this one is like a cult classic and I knew it was a colour that I'd wear a lot. I just kind of own it in like every other liquid lipstick ever but I thought that I was nearly done but I have two more bags of things. The first of which is Colourpop and I bought some new things from Colourpop. I think everything that I got in here is a newer release. The first thing that I got was the Foxy little mini set. So these are super duper mini but they're really cute. You get Beeper, Clueless, Tool I think it is, Creeper and More Better. I used More Better in a recent tutorial as well but I love these. These are my favourite drying liquid lipstick formula, if that makes sense. Out of all the ones that I have that are drying, these are my favourite. I got three of their cream gel colours, which are the little gel eyeliner pots. I got Exit, which is a plain matte white. I got Get Paid, which is a rose gold bronzy shade. And I got DTLA, Downtown LA, whatever you want to call it, and it's a very, very, very deep navy blue. I also got two of their gel liner pencils. I got Zulu, which is a sort of like really, uh, really light minty green colour, which I thought would be really pretty for a pop of colour. And of course I got Exit because I love white eyeliner. And finally, I went to the farmers in town. If you guys saw my vlog during Vlogmas, I'll post it down below. When I went out for dinner and stuff, I went and I stopped in at the farmers because they sell NYX there, which it's the only farmers in New Zealand at the moment when I'm filming this video that sells NYX. So I had to go in and check it out. I hadn't been in yet, so I picked up three different things. The first thing that I got is this liquid eyeliner. Jar used this in a few tutorials and I just needed it. It's the NYX Glam Liner Aqua Lux Waterproof in Glam Nude. And it's kind of like, it's a liquid eyeliner, but it pretty much looks like one of the Stila Magnificent Metals. And I thought it would be really good to sort of get that effect with ease. It's very, very pretty and I thought it would be really nice to use for like double wings, which we both know that I can't do, but one day I will be able to do them. Of course I had to get one of the cult classic lip glosses. This is one of their butter glosses and it's in the shade Vanilla Cream Pie. And this is just a colour that I thought that I would wear a whole lot. It's kind of like a, it's like a baby but bright pink. Hope you can see it there. This formula is so unbelievably comfortable and shiny and moisturising. They are so incredible, so I'm really happy that I picked it up. If you were curious, the liner and the lip gloss were both $12.95, so take that price how you will. To me, that seems really, really decently priced compared to how much they cost in America. And finally, I picked up this little set of lipsticks because I wanted to get two of these shades, and then I saw there was a set, so I was like, duh, of course I'm going to buy the set. This is called the True Love Set, and you get Snowcap, Candy Buttons, and Taffy and it retails for $26.95, so I thought that was a really, really great deal. So that is everything from my humongous haul. I hope that I managed to edit this down, because at the moment this video is at 30 minutes, and that is way too long. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Please let me know down below what your favourite thing was from this haul. And again, don't forget, if you haven't already, and you live in Australia or New Zealand, please enter my Candle Crush giveaway by telling me what your favourite scent was down below. I love you all so, so much. Thank you again for watching. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you all next time. Bye!